In March of 2004, the Commandant of the Marine Corps signed an order standardizing all the classroom and gas chamber training. Now they made it set in concrete exactly from front to end of how the chamber has to go. So it took away a lot of the leeway to ensure that Marines get the same training Marine Corps wide. That training Sergeant Swartz is talking about now consists of refined gas chamber training, only now with more classroom training before Marines even step into the chamber. But many Marines wonder if the chamber has been toned down too much. I know we always have some Marines complain, um, especially about the chamber part, that it's not as hard as it used to be. Uh, we don't do as many things in there. Uh, so I think that's, that remains to be seen, whether it's more effective or not. And we spend less time in there, it seems like. Like in boot camp, it seems like you're in there for an hour. Now it's just like five minutes and you're done. But is the time in the chamber the real training? Are today's Marines educated enough on the event of a nuclear, biological, or chemical attack? Are they really prepared for the requirements at war? Well, according to Sergeant Swartz, they are. But they have all the general knowledge they need to survive. It's a pink or a blue color. The Marine Corps turned to classroom education for that knowledge to survive. These Marines spend roughly three hours in the classroom learning how to survive an NBC attack and accomplish their missions at the same time. Before when we came here, it was like, okay, here's your mask, get in there and get out. Now it's like, okay, you got three hours of classes and you get in there for 10 minutes. All over your face. There we go, all of you. Marines at Kaneohe Bay are hoping the additional classroom training will pay off on the battlefield. Unless you have this training, then you, you probably going to end up dying. Corporal Jeremy Vaught, Marine Corps Air Station, Kaneohe Bay, Hawaii.